too. I'm Pepsi Queen. You tell me. First of all, you are a beautiful woman. I'm asking you these well, questions you, because of the and public. And I think you're handsome. Because of what the public asks. Because I'm just going by what the public perception of you. You know that nigga D-Bone had his bike for like three weeks, right? Right. Money, don't work. Man. That's oh, what I'm going to Oh, yeah. Oh, you got knocked the fuck out! Are you want to me, huh? No. Get off your ass and get in this car, boy. I don't know why you come down here messing with these people. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> they both got in the car and bonked out. I swear to God, we was rolling. Yeah, go sit down, man. Go get those toenails sharp, dog. I mean, cut, dog. Go, go cut some nasty superpower toenails you got, dog. You don't want it with me. You don't want it with me, Razor teeth. You don't want it with, 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 with me black lips. You better go take some um black china uh, bleaching cream and put some on them black ass lips you got. You don't want it with me, dude. You don't want it with me. <laughs> so, Nicole, you are here fresh off the summit. A couple hey, everybody. I love everybody. I'm with the mess today. I'm with the mess today. What's up? What's up? You What's went up? to the got for me asking me all these damn weak ass questions you about went... my life and what I do and how I roll. You went to the... Y'all don't like it, don't watch. This you... business. We you... having fun. We we get we getting our life up here. You went Y'all don't like it, don't watch. You went to the summit. You and um Daddy Sean Bradley had a summit. Many people criticized the summit because they felt as though you did wasn't being honest in the summit. You said that you didn't have no gay family members that you know of. Um and also James actually dragged you. Um, when you went on Sean Bradley's show, too, they actually dragged you in a comment, called you a liar, and said that you were homophobic. So, as of today, did you, do you remember what you said about gay people? About transgender people? No, I don't remember what I said about transgender or gay people because I love every damn body. And whatever I said, I said what I said when me and Sean Bradley were going back and forth with each other. He said some things about heterosexual women, but y'all don't bring that up. But every, every time I turn around, y'all trying to bring up what I said. If y'all gonna come at, come at me, y'all need to be fair. So all those questions y'all got about what I said and what I supposedly said, that, that those questions are like uh, invisible to me. So, I don't even see those questions because they were done. They were said out of anger when we, he and I were going back and forth with each other. So please take those homophobic, transgender comments and stick them up your butt. Okay? Get drunk or high off those words. Okay? J Next question. James actually dragged you. No, so I don't care what James did. James, look, look at James and look at me. Who, who wearing a wig and lighting their skin to look like a woman? That's it, not it, it homophobic. I'm already a damn woman. I'm already a damn woman. So you're, so that's not homophobic. I don't have, I, don't have I, I have nothing against James. No, that ain't homophobic. I'm telling the damn truth. If a person put on a wig, Wally, Wally, did you just put on a wig? I did. I put okay a then. It, are you being homophobic? If I call, if I'm telling you you wearing a wig, am I being homophobic? If he's wearing a wig and putting on makeup and putting on boots, is, am I telling the truth or am I being homophobic? I'm just keeping it real. If you want to close your eyes and act like you can't see, that don't mean I'm gonna close my eyes and act like I can't see. Don't put however you feel, Wally, and whoever feels this differently, don't put that off on Nicole Tyler. Because but when you, Nicole, no, trying to put it on me. Nicole, but this is the next thing. question, next call. No, next Nicole, call, next you, call. I'm, I'm with the mess today. Nicole, next call. you, you, made, you did a video about me. You said I was a liar and I can't be trusted. But you lied in, about a video that you made being homophobic. I'm not homophobic. You don't know. Where the video at? Show me the evidence. You deleted the video and you was like, oh, oh I deleted the video. The you well, deleted well, it, sister. Is, is, can you can you find the evidence? Are you going back to what people told you? But you if deleted you it. it yourself, if you ain't hear me say it yourself, then shut the H up. Because I well, did hear you say that you and ZT, when you, ZT sucked your weenie, and that his boyfriend was watching and sweating and on drugs, and he started playing it with himself, and you said y'all had a damn threesome. Now, now that's what I heard you say. And I apologize. And see, the difference between me and you and Nicole, the difference between me and you, I apologize. Nicole, you still haven't apologized for the lie that you told. You didn't correct that lie. You still defended it. That you are homophobic. Even when you say, even when you said, Nicole, in your show, I don't have no gay people in my family. That was a lie. No, I don't. That was a lie. You got to get you with that statement. That was a lie. You have gay people in your family, Nicole. You got gay people in your family. Even Daddy. Even you Daddy, you. Won't you go look yourself in the mirror and you talk to your damn self about even, what I got? Let me tell you something, Nicole. If you can't handle what I said, then that's on you. Next question. Even Daddy Sean Bradley said that you know of, that you don't know that, and even even questioned that too. So what? He ain't my damn daddy. Sean Bradley is your daddy. No, he's not my daddy. You don't know what I got in my damn family. 
So, I told you what I got in my family. Now, if you don't want to believe it, that's on you. Well, you I do believe, but you know what, too, Nicole? And I want to say well, this. Believe what you want. You can believe there's a goddamn on pony that's sitting in front of your face with a goddamn eating burgers, um, having sex with damn um, uh, Kim Kardashian. That's I want to say this, Nicole. That, that's on you. I want to say this. Next I want to. I, I want to say this. You was in TSCC, a part of TSCC. You claim that you wasn't I was a, a member. Of TSCC. You were a supporter. Yes, true, you were commenting in the chat. But then you changed because, according to you, VS did not go out and sing karaoke and did not put it on YouTube and, and all of that. To me? What the hell? See, don't try to twist my words around. I did not change because of no bull crap like that, dude. Dude, I've been doing karaoke when I was in the womb. You think I'm going to get mad because somebody don't want to sing with me when I can sing by my damn self on my own platform? Make it make sense, my But that's what you said. That's what you make said on sense. your I channel. I mean, I Nicole, that's what you go said. Back and review the tape. You are a damn liar. Nicole, that's what you said on your show that you were I upset. Say a damn thing. You I did can never say that, uh, Wiley. That is a damn lie. You never said that. So why did you and VS? Yes, and I brought it. See, uh, uh, Wiley. Yes, and I came on my platform and brought up the karaoke. I never brought it up because I didn't damn it care about it. So why and did apparently you? you care about singing karaoke? So why don't you join me? I want to say, night, Nicole. And then you can make up a beat with that coming or whatever, and me and you can sing together, baby. Nicole, I, I want to ask you this question. question. Why are you upset with VS? What made you go to Sean? Because it seems to the upset with each other. Because it's why do you think that? See, that's what I'm telling you. Me and VS, me and VS ain't upset with each other. It seems to me to the public uh, when you went to well, Sean. Like well, well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you how it looked to the public, my love. When you went to Sean, it seems well, to me care. that you used TSCC as a scapegoat. You asking me questions that I lied. You asking me lying questions. First of all, you said that I got upset with VS over karaoke. That's not true. You said that the public think that VS and I are mad at each other. We are not. You said that you you said that uh Sean Bradley called me Gator Cross. That is true. Then you said that um I inserted myself some kind of way with the Sean Bradley situation. You did. Whatever. You did. But, but all of that is a lie. You did, honey. Whether you whether you you did insert yourself, sweetheart. You did. How? 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 When he first of all um Wally, if this man is telling people not to shun me. Because I'm trying to take his kids away when I take care of kids. Don't you think I have the right to defend myself and say something, Wally? When they say that you sleep, when you, they say you raped your grandmother, did you or did you not um, want to defend yourself? Or you want to go around saying, yeah, this is what I do. I'm my, my kid of the cross ID, but I sleep with my see, grandma. See, even when, even, but this Let, is the, this make but, but this is the thing. You didn't come against what he said. You humbled yourself. But yet you're coming on this show and you're defensive. Where would that energy when James were dragging was, you when no, you was on the line with James? Let me tell the let me tell the audience while he shut up for five seconds. Papa well, doesn't make a video dragging you. you like James. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Go ahead, James Mama. means something to you. You all think that he's a queen, and y'all think he's a diva. He's nothing to me. So I don't have to respond to James, because I don't see him as nothing. Y'all see him as everything. Okay? I don't see him as nothing, so he's dust to me. But yet he you will argue, but yet you will argue with a person that because haven't even done a video about you. Apparently, that now, apparently, Wally, I see that you're something. I see VS is somebody. I see S. Hutchinson is somebody. I see Rita is somebody. I see everybody in this chat is somebody. I see Apocalypse is somebody. Those are the people who I, who I rock with, whether it's good or bad. James Caldwell is deaf to me. So Even when Sean calls you gator crack, you, you, you didn't give that same energy. Way, you, that's how you feel. Don't put your feelings off on me. If I don't want to pay, if I don't want to give James no shine, I don't have to. If I want to go back and forth with whoever I want to, I can. Why now, you, if you can't respect that and you can't see that, then I, can, I don't know what to tell you. Know you know what, Nicole? Next, next Nicole, I can. I'm, I'm saying what you're saying, but I'm just saying like with your energy at a pocket. I'm like, where is this coming from? Because you didn't give that energy because to James or to Shy. <laughs> you and he coming at you at a chat, but James got on a video in front of thousands of people and dragged you. But I don't care about that. Of course you didn't care. If I don't care about that, I don't care about that. Because you, you could. Make me care about something because, I don't care about. Because if you I could. If I don't care, I don't care. Because you, so you couldn't. Move on because I don't care about James. Because you, you couldn't, care couldn't about respond. James. Because you couldn't you, respond you, to that right. on your particular channel. The same way you came at me on right, your channel. Right. But you didn't come you at James that same way Wally. once James read you. That's what I'm saying. I don't care what you're saying. I have, I have dismissed James. I've, I've kicked him off the damn cliff, for real. you the one trying to revive the man, not me. He dead to me. I kicked him off the clip. Do you see me even talking about that man? Do you feel I, like I, Sean Bradley should have defended? Do you feel like Sean Bradley should have defended you once James was dragging you? Should he defended you since y'all no, had that no, peace No, I don't feel that way. Oh. No, I don't feel that way. James and Sean Bradley are two different people. Why the hell I think I should have been got um, defended by Sean Bradley? Me and him ain't like that for real. 
And I didn't say that me and, Jay, me and Sean all been telling everybody that me and him are not friends like that. Talking about two well, people that was not in the summit. You got to talk to your daddy, Sean Bradley. No, that had something to do with you. You were there, Nicole. Nicole, were you there? Talk to your father, Sean Bradley, and ask him why he did not invite VS and ask him why he why didn't you invite didn't do, James. See, Nicole, to... see, the question that I have for you is, it seems to me that you were used as a prop by Sean for his benefit. I don't see any of his people showering you with super chats now. If I was a prop, I was paid. Thank you. Next, we're going to move on because this is business at the end of the day. Do you feel Next as question. though that you have insecurity issues because people, you know, you stopped wearing certain wigs when they were talking about, about it? Insecure about what? Insecure about what? About your teeth, Be about specific. your looks, about your teeth. Because when he called you gator crop, no, a lot I'm of people insecure. say, okay, you're I'm not. I'm insecure about, if y'all, how many of y'all, how many of y'all see who come on my channel? Aren't y'all, don't y'all see me smiling all the damn time? If I was so insecure, I wouldn't even smile. If I was so insecure about my look, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be hiding behind black screens like a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers do. Every time y'all see Nicole, Nicole is mostly in a video. Nicole is showing her face in a video, and Nicole is smiling, and I'm in my kitchen, I'm at work, I'm outside, I'm in my car. A lot of you, a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers are behind behind black screens. Name the names. Even when y'all, even when my, even when my stomach is poked out, and I'm showing a little breath, I'm still dancing and happy and smiling. Even if I'm not sounding my best, I'm still singing. Do that look like an insecure woman, Wally? You tell me. You tell me. First of all, you are a beautiful woman. I'm asking you these well, questions you, because of the and public. I think you're handsome. Because of what the public asks. I'm not going to get caught up and be defensive in it because I'm just going by what the public perception of you. The same way you brought up things, what the public said about me. So you have to be able to take it as well as you're giving it. So you, you, that's just the business. I am taking it, baby. I ain't, I'm not upset with you. I'm but just rah-rah because, you know, it's spring break. I'm having a good time. I'm looking at your chat. I'm going back and forth. I'm excited. I'm really not mad at nobody. I love everybody. So it's like for real, for real. I'm so I'm really excited. Like if I had some friends to roll out with, which I could still do, I would probably get myself to the bar and I'd probably drink a drink and be having a good damn time. So are you, are, are you I'm single, Nicole? Right I'm not mad. Nicole, are you single? This is a good conversation. Are you single? Are you single? Am I what now? Are you single? Yes, I am very single, honey. I'm very single. So would you date someone that is younger? Like say for instance, somebody 28 or 29 years old? Would you date a younger person, or do you want somebody your age? Well, you know what? I talk to all different ages, but I find that when I do talk, talk to younger guys, they I just think I just turn into a mama bear because my children are 28, 27. And so when I'm talking to them, they always, you know, they're themselves because they're younger. So they don't know how to really communicate with me because I'm older. So what I end up doing when I'm talking to a younger guy, I'm sounding like mama bear. So I think that's a huge turnoff because I don't want to be date, being like a mom no. to my boyfriend. No, you won't be a you mom. You know, I need a real man. You, that man, interested. that you younger know, guy will have to. The, if he's, if he's a younger man and he can be on my level mentally and, mm -hmm. and we can have the same thoughts and I don't have to be telling him what to do and he playing video games. I don't know if they all do this, y'all. So I don't want y'all to say the code saying that. But I'm just saying, I don't, I'm, not, I'm into real men with real businesses. You know what I'm saying? But they you know what, too? A young man, I don't like put a young, young guy down because a young guy can actually, you know, be into what you're into. You know, you just have to give a person that chance because not every young person is that way. You know, you got some young guys that have been raised around Oh, I mean, seasoned women, I say, and that they understand the culture. So you might get somebody that you fall in love with. So I, I won't shoot, I won't shut the door on that if I were you. Oh, no, I don't shut the door. I talk to all people. I just told you I talk to everybody. I talk to all ages of men, all ages, 80 year old, 50, 29, 25. I talk to everybody. I don't single anyone out. So how is the, your love life with a younger guy in the bedroom versus an older guy? Is it a difference? Well, I haven't been with a younger guy in many years since I was like in my 30s. And it wasn't really good. Oh, okay. Now that been fifteen years ago. Okay. When I was with a younger guy, yeah, and he was not very, uh, he was not very sexually uh, aware or whatever the words are. He could not match me in the bed. I could tell that he was younger guy, so right. I didn't like it. Okay. But things do change. It's a whole new breed of younger dudes in today's market. We got the internet now. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to go out there and, and give it a shot just to make to see what you're saying is true. I'm okay. not going to be busting it wide open so for think, somebody who don't know how to, you know, rock the boat for real. Right. And they don't know how to, you know, the curve of my spine. You know, they don't know how to hit off my, my G-spot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for nobody who don't know how to, you know, do what it needs and how to get me to where I need to go. That's why I would like to go karaoke with you because cause I do see, I do like to say <laughs> I, I do like to karaoke say it. I, I like to drink it. Well, I do. you be... I, I, I would like you would be intimidated by me. No, I would be intimidated, are intimidated by, by me. I'm not intimidated real. by you. Believe it or not, y'all. I'm not intimidated by you. I actually think that you are entertaining. Um, besides this YouTube stuff, when I did see your video when you were actually singing, I actually was like, oh, God, this is beautiful. Like, she looking good right now. Singing, hitting them high notes. And I think that's dope. I really think I do love your music. I told you that. Um, I just think that's dope. I just think that's dope. Well, 
But thank you, Wally. And somebody in the chat said I'm lying about my age. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm 47 years old. I was born in 1971, and I don't know what else to tell you. Um, if you if I look older, okay. If I look younger, okay. Um, you have a problem with the way I look. I'm the one who have to be in this body for the rest of my life, and however you all feel I look is up to you. It's not up to me. I think, really, I, don't I think know Nicole, that that if we come and do a peace summit together, I think it would be awesome. You know, we can sing, go out to eat, and, and really talk, and, and not have something where. You know, not beneficial for months in. It'd be a, a long term relationship instead of a one night stand. Because that's what I think that the summit was. I really believe that Sean could have done more for you financially uh, because of the the what he said about you and um, the, the attacks that you were getting mostly from his people. And so that's just my personal opinion. The same way he sh showered me, Rita, with super chats, he could have gave you that same blessing. But unfortunately, I didn't see that. Well, let me tell you. Let me let me say this, Wally. Just because Sean and I came together and we squashed whatever he said about me and I said about him, to me, it's worth a lot. It don't have anything to do with financial gain. Now, I'm not talking about the, the piece some of y'all saw on the video, which that was genuine. But what I'm saying to you, you're trying to match forgiveness and you're trying to equate that to dollars. And if I feel like I've been forgiven and he feel like he's been forgiven, then the Heavenly Father who I talk about all the time, then I know he will make it rain on me. So everything does not have to equate to dollars when it really comes to real forgiveness. 